Skyping in from Washington, D.C., former senior staff advisor to President George W. Bush and ongoing Republican strategist Brad Blakeman. And joining us from our Newsmax newsroom, managing partner for Cambridge Strategic Partners and a former communications director for the Gore-Lieberman 2000 presidential campaign, Joy Howell. Joy, uh, we're taking a look at uh, foreign policy, and there's been a refrain from a lot of Democrats blame Bush when it comes to challenges in the Middle East. But when we look at Libya, dismantling the rule of Gaddafi there was a result of the policy of President Obama and Hillary Clinton. Now that situation continues to deteriorate. Are the president and the former secretary of state to blame? I think you uh, shouldn't break something if you don't know how to fix it. But I'm, I'm not sure that's accurate to lay the blame for Libya's deterioration at their feet. I think the Middle East has seen a lot of, um, a lot of volatility in the last few years from um, President Bush, uh, President Obama, um, various policies, and I think that there really hasn't been a comprehensive plan for the Middle East. All right, so uh, it sounds like there uh, is plenty of blame to go around. Brad Blakeman, 45 seconds for your evaluation of this. Seven years of Obama and seven years of chaos in the Middle East um, because of his fecklessness, his refusal to understand facts as they are. He sees things as he wished them to be. And you have Libya. Libya is broken because Obama broke it. And when, the, and when the Gaddafi family reached out to him for a way out, they were rejected. And what came next? Chaos. And that will continue so long as this president is our president. Well, we want you both to continue the discussion with us. So, Joy and Brad, we'd ask you to stay right where you are. And those of you at home, stay here, too. Now, if you have some comments on what is transpiring in the Middle East and who's to blame for what, I'd love to get your comments. Send them to me at NewsmaxTV.com slash comments. When we come back, more from our panel, specifically what's happening in New Hampshire. Trump seems to be leading in strong fashion. That's up next, so stay tuned.